Hello, I have been asked so many times about visas and I keep telling everyone ambassadors don't do visas, the consulate do. I eventually decided to take you to the consulate to show you how to apply for a visa. You must know that Schengen visas give you access to 26 countries. Therefore, the rules, regulations that apply to these applications are not made by France or by just one of those 26 countries, but by all of them. Therefore, you have requirements. Sometimes you may not understand, but that are the requirements. So I've come to the consulate to ask, how do we do to apply for a visa? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. You, um, the main thing you have to do is to go on the official website for the uh, French visa application or Schengen visa application, which is francevisas.gov.fr. Uh, That's france-visas uh, with s dot uh, gov g o u v dot f r. And this is the website. That's the website. And on the websites, once you're on the website. Um, it's a very easy website. You First, you can check whether you need a visa or not, because some people, according to their nationality, do not need a visa to go to France. If you, um, if you are not sure whether you need a visa, within three minutes and a few questions, you can find out whether you uh, have to apply for one. Um, once you know whether you, know you, get, you, you need a visa, you can start your application by creating an account and filling out the application form. At the end of, of, the, um, of filling out the application form, you will get the list of the required documents that you need to present the day of the appointment. And to book the appointment, you can also do that uh, easily via France Visa. There's a link to, our, um, to the website of VFS, which is the company in charge of giving the appointments here at the embassy. And once you have your appointment, and uh, you come to the embassy on the day and time to the consulate. To the, to the, the consulate. consulate happens to yes. be in the embassy. It's in the embassy. So How long does it take to fill in the form? Um, to fill in the form is actually no more than a few minutes. You, uh, if you have all your information ready, your passport information, your traveling information, um, the form is just going to ask you to fill in your name. Uh, your date of birth, your place of birth. The so things that you normally know. Uh, you know those things. And, um, and also the, where you want to travel to France, the address where you want to stay in France. Okay, but the, nothing uh, very personal. Nothing personal. Like your size and weight. No, Okay. that's not necessary. How long does it take to get an appointment? Um, let's, be, let's be honest, but uh, we have a waiting time of approximately three months to get uh, an appointment. So between three and six months, you make your application and you're safe. Exactly. Okay. Then you turn up on the day of your appointment. What happens? You uh, mm -hmm. you'll be received by one of uh, the person working in the visa section, and the person will uh, examine your your file. We check whether you have all the required documents. Uh, the person will also take your fingerprints because that's one of the reasons we ask for people to come here at the consulate. Uh, you will need to provide a, a picture as well. Um, there's a fee for the Schengen visa, for instance, which is uh, 80 euros, and um, but that's the same price for. That's the same price. For it's valid for 26 for those 26, 26 countries. Country. So and the same price whether you apply for a visa that will last three months or a year. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Okay. I wanted to know the person at the desk. Mm. Is she the one making the decision? Not quite. The person at the desk is just uh, in charge of, um, of gathering of the documents. gathering documents, taking the fingerprints of uh, receiving the payment of the fee. Right. And uh, but then he or she has no, no power. No, okay. No. So there's no point trying to. There's no point you know, trying to uh, be charming to or be charming. I mean, you can be charming. You can be charming, but, but it's not, not going to the point where you want to interfere in the, the, in visa, the visa decision. decision. Okay. How long does it take after the appointment to get your visa? Um, if you get it. We usually announce of a, a delay of three weeks to get the visa, but 
the visa can be issued actually in, within a week or a big week. A big week, 10 days. How easy, people ask me, is it to get a visa? Because many people tell me, oh, I am denied. But do we deny most of them? We do not deny most of the applicants. We only deny uh, people when we find out that the, the file is not coherent with the, the, the purpose of the stay. Uh, when we find out sometimes people take the risk of presenting some forged documents or fake documents. If you have been denied in the Consulate of France, mm. what's the point going to the Consulate of another Schengen country with the same document, the same application? Oh, it doesn't make sense because, you know, we all have the same way of... Uh, of uh, the system is actually connected, they will the, know. The system is connected so they will know Really so all documents that are being presented are being checked actually. They are being checked. So yeah. you can't just get away with no, a fake no. or something no. that has been made up. It, it's a big risk. It's a big risk for, for, for the applicant to do that. Okay. Um, quite a few people think it wise to use an agent, an intermediary. First of all, do we have any intermediary that works with the embassy? Not at all. We, no. uh, the, we have no agreement with um, any agencies, any intermediates. So anyone who's presenting uh, himself or herself as someone um, working with the working embassy, with embassy is, is a scammer. Yeah. So Why? basically, the, the appointment is 70 cities mm. and the visa fee is, is, is 80 cities. Yeah. Full stop. That's it. So if anyone asks you one penny more, it's a scam. It's a scam. Yeah. Okay, so last thing, if I am denied a visa, what can I do? Uh, we'll give you uh, a letter, a notification, explaining why the visa has been denied. And uh, at the end of the letter, you will find um, the process to appeal against this uh, refusal. Oh, you can visa. appeal? You can appeal. So, fill in the form online. Get an appointment online. If you have an emergency that is a serious emergency, go onto the embassy website and get to the email contact section where you get the email of the consulate and send an email explaining that you have an appointment but you need an earlier appointment. Give the registration number, passport number and if we have a slot, if there is a no-show, if there's any possibility, give a phone number when you can be called and then rush to the consulate as soon as you have your appointment. Make sure that all the documents that are required are there. Make sure that they are all genuine. Make sure that they are coherent. If you are traveling on a Monday, make sure that the hotel reservation matches with the day you are supposed to land in France. Make sure that the dates are matching because otherwise it will look suspicious. If you get denied, you always have the possibility of appealing through a process that will be explained to you on the letter of notification. If you are denied and if you do not do appeal, there's no point going to another embassy. We're all connected and they will know you've been denied. And being denied in two, three, four different consulates, mm, it doesn't look good for you to eventually be granted a visa. And my last advice, do not ever use an agent or an intermediary. The documents, the information that you are supposed to give are personal. You shouldn't give them to anyone else. This intermediary is going to charge you more than the 70 cities for the appointment and 80 euros for the visa fees and at the end of the day you are most likely to be denied. <laughs>